Hey everyone, John Henry here. I'll be talking today about Maxilite bulkhead sealing systems. Here in our Maxilite warehouse, as you can see, we have plenty of stock of our 30, 40, and 60 millimeter thick Maxilite in both blue and white. And we'll be talking a little bit about how you can use these boards to build fire aided enclosures or bulkhead to box outs around existing services to maintain fire separation in compartments of buildings. So today we'll be looking at our 60 millimeter thick Maxilite board to create a two hour two way FRL bulkhead sealing system for applications like fire escapes where there is a risk of fire from inside and outside of the bulkhead. And if you're doing that application, you do need the 60 millimeter thick board. If you're constructing a fire aided bulkhead enclosure or a ceiling that only has fire from the outside, like a ceiling that has resistance to the incipient spread of fire, then you can use the 30 mil boards or the 40 mil boards as well as the 60 mil boards for a one way FRL system. Finally, there is one other type of maxillite construction and that is what we call a penetration box out. So when you have services penetrating through a slab, for example, you can use our 40 mil maxillite board to box in around the underside of those services if you don't have access to the top side and treat the penetration by moving it down underneath the slab somewhere you can actually fit it. And to do that, we can use our 40 mil board and when there is a penetration coming out of any of the bulkheads, they all need to be thickened up to at least be 60 millimeters thick. So in a moment, I'll be joining you down on site where we'll actually get stuck into the tools and I'll show you how to install one of these bulkhead systems. So we're out here on site where we've got some services that have been run through a fire escape that shouldn't be there. So I'm gonna show you how you can build a two-way, two-hour fire rated bulkhead to box out these services and maintain the safety of the fire escape. Let's get into it. So to get a two-way, two-hour FRL bulkhead ceiling system, we'll be using our 60 millimeter thick maxi-line board. And in the corners, we'll be using 50 by 50 by 0.9 gauge steel angles. So these are pretty lightweight, and what I like to do is have them pre-cut when I get to site. So I already pre-cut the maxi-line boards and pre-drilled some holes in our angles so we can get straight into it. Now if you are cutting up your Maxilite on site, there's a few ways you can do it. Maxilite cuts very easily. You can use hand tools like a tenon saw or any type of wood saw or power tools like a jigsaw or a drop saw. If you're using power tools, we do recommend some dust extraction because it can get dusty on site. So the tools you're gonna need to do one of these Maxilite bulkheads, we're gonna need a pen for marking out. We're gonna need measuring tape, a straight edge and a level. Then we're going to need to use our hammer drill to drill into this concrete substrate. Then we'll be using some N6 Dyna bolts, uh, some plasterboard 8 gauge by 100 mil screws that are going to go into our steel angles, uh, and some Fireflex sealant, which we'll be using the sausages today, so we'll need a, a sausage gun to go with that. Now, depending on the site and the access and how many people you have to help, there's a few ways you can install the bulkhead. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to pre-fit our steel angles up to the, the brick wall that's behind me. Um, and then I'm going to pre-fit a few angles to the boards to make it easier so when I can assemble it, that will take the minimum amount of heavy lifting uh, from the boys that are helping me out today. So when you're marking out and cutting your steel angles, you need to allow 10 to 20 millimetres of space clearance at the end of each of the angles to allow for the steel angle to expand under fire conditions. So I've done that already. So I'm going to mark out the spacings for our steel masonry anchors. So we're going to be using M6 Dyna bolts. They have to be all steel. You can't use any green plugs um, or plastic uh, wall mates or anything like that. It's got to be a steel Dyna bolt or anchor screw. So I've got it marked out uh, and we're going to go at 400 millimeter centers into the masonry wall here. I'm going to grab my hammer drill, screw this in, and we'll do the same all the way along the bulkhead. Now when you're doing the longer runs of the bulkheads, you've got to make sure that the steel angles are maximum 1200 millimeters long. And again, that allows for thermal expansion of the angles. So between these, we'll leave a 10 to 20 millimeter gap all the way along till you get to the end, just to allow for any movement during fire conditions. Now, whilst I'm up here, there is a bit of a step in the slab. So what I've done is I put an anchor fixing right over the top, and we're gonna backfill this with some Fireflex sealant to make sure it maintains a seal. Now 
Now that our steel angles are fixed in place along the wall and the slab, I'm going to prefix the rest of the angles to some of the boards so we can assemble it all together. And how I'm going to do that is using one of these friction clamps. Uh, I'm going to use that to hold it in place. As when you're screwing these, we want to put the screws in from the outside of the board so they bite through into the angle and hold it nice and tight. When you're using screws with Maxillite board, the screws need to be 1.5 times the thickness of the board you're screwing into. So we're using our 60 millimeter thick board today and that means we'll need minimum 90 mil screws. So I've got these eight gauge by 100 mil screws that we'll be using. Now when you're going, screwing into Maxillite into steel angles, we want them every 200 millimeters and you want them to start at least 50 mil from the edge and at least 25 mil from the, uh, the long edge. Otherwise you risk chipping out the edge of the board. All right, with our angles pre-fit to the boards, we can start to assemble this bulkhead. So I've got the apprentice on site who's gonna give me a hand uh, holding it up in place for me while I put the first uh, screws in. Now once you put the screws in, there's no need to go back and seal over the screw heads, but we will be putting some sealant down the gaps along the edge. Now that the, the first piece is up, we're gonna hang the next pieces, which is the biggest, heaviest part. So I'm gonna get some of the, the team to help me put this one up. We've pre-fit angles to the bottom of this, so we're gonna fix it into the angles that are there. The angles on the bottom will be pre-fit, which will allow us to easily pull up the, the underside of this bulkhead. Let's get to it. Now when you're putting up your sheets, you need to leave a small gap between them so you can backfill these with some fire flex sealant. And we're going to come back at the end and run a cover strip over the joints, both these vertical ones, the horizontal ones, and the corner joints as well. So now we've got our side pieces hung and we've got our end caps. All we need to do now is pop up the bottom pieces. Now the steel angles have been pre-fit to these boards. It's much easier to do that on the ground. So all we have to do now is just screw up into these angles from the underside of the maxilla. All right, now it's time to put the bottom pieces on this bulkhead. Now, when we put this piece up, it's gonna end up flush with the outside of the piece, which means we're not gonna get any sealant in there once it's up. So what I'm gonna do is put some Fireflex sealant onto the piece of board now, so when you put it up, it'll squash into the joint. Now, when you're applying Fireflex to Maxi-Wide board, it can be a bit of a pain to get it to stick. There's a few tips you can do. Make sure that you dust off all the dust from the board with a brush or a wet cloth works particularly well, and that'll help it stick together and stop it sticking to yourself. Now that all the boards are up, it's time to seal up all the gaps. So we'll be using Fireflex sealant to seal all the gaps, the nooks and crannies, the interfaces, uh, before we put the cover strips on. Now that we've sealed up all of the board joints, we're going to be installing our cover strips. The cover strips go along all of the wall interfaces and the slab interfaces, as well as any joints in the board and the corners. The cover strips will be made of our 30 mil thick Maxillite board. As a minimum, you can use 40 and 60 mil, but you can buy a full sheet of this stuff and cut it down to strips on a table saw, which is what we've done today. Now, putting these up, I've noticed there is a bit of a chip in the top of this piece of Maxillite. Now the chip's not too big, and we have done testing that allows us to patch over small chips and cracks. However, if this was a full crack that was propagating through the sheet, we would definitely replace the entire sheet and start again. So I've got my cover strips here of 30 millimeter thick maxillite board cut into 100 mil wide strips on the table saw. And I'm just gonna chop them up with a little hand saw uh, to the correct length for the underside of the bulkhead. 
when you're handling the really thin maxi light, do take care to be gentle with the edges because it can be a bit more brittle than the thicker boards are. Now the very last thing we need to do to complete this installation is to seal up the cover strips and apply a fill of the sealant between the bulkhead and the wall and the slab and then we're done. So we've gone around and started sealing all the joints. The apprentice is going to come in and do the rest for me. Um, a common misconception around the bulkheads is people always seal up the screw heads. You don't need to do that. Uh, if you want it for an aesthetic look, that's fine. Uh, but it will save you a bit of time. With the cover strips, um, again, if you want to have a better aesthetic look, you can plan these out so the joints are a lot neater. In this application, we don't need to worry about aesthetics, so we'll get away with what we've done. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact the technical team at 1-800-888-714. Check out tfire.com.au for the technical manual um, and a test report for these and other MaxiLite systems. Thanks all, and I'll see you again soon.